there is no direct correlation between multiple pregnancy and the pathology of polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome. Um, but we need to understand that polycystic ovarian patients have got a high egg reserve, which means the number of eggs in their ovaries naturally is very, very high. And some people would argue that the controlling mechanism of ovulation and the hormones which are produced from the brain, which is FSH and LH, which control the ovulation. So that axis might be differently set in polycystic ovaries patients, and that can sometime lead to two eggs or more than one egg released in a natural cycle, or they are more sensitive to the treatment, fertility treatment, and that can release more than one egg. And that can end up in multiple pregnancies. Um, so, so yes, polycystic ovarian patients would have more chances of multiple pregnancy, but probably not because of the underlying problem or disease, but possibly because of the extra treatment which we give them for ovulation induction or other assisted conception treatment. So the probability of having multiple pregnancy get higher in these in this group of patients.